it is derogatory to call Uzodima Supreme Court Governor Imo Elders claims. The Imo Council of Elders has said that it is derogatory for members of the opposition to continue to address Governor Hope Uzodima as Supreme Court Governor. The elders maintain that using such an appellation for the state's governor is an insult to the people of Imo, contain that the people never voted for him. The elders also said that they are in support of the current probe by the Imo State House of Assembly of the alleged missing 19.63 billion local government fund under the administration of former Governor Emeka Ihedia, Dr. Edmond J.K. Nyebuchi, Chairman of the Imo Elder Council, who made the remarks on Tuesday at a press conference, said that the elders of the state will henceforth tackle any individual group who continue address Uzodima as a Supreme Court Governor. We are using this opportunity to warn those unpatriotic persons or group to stop forthwith addressing the governor as a Supreme Court governor. As the elder of Imo will not take it lightly because those who are doing this are insulting the people of Imo who had voted massively for Senator Hope Uzodima as governor of the state. He stated, Imo people overwhelmingly voted for Senator Hope Uzodima as a preferred candidate for the exalted office of the governor at the 9th March 2019 governorship election. In spite of this massive support by Imo people, however, unpatriotic, discredited, greedy, egoistic, repatious, and corrupt politicians still tried to steal the mandate freely given to Senator Hope Uzodima by the electorate, but God stopped this devilish move through the Supreme Court of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Dr. Onyebuchi said that the elders council are in full support of the current probe of the alleged missing 19.63 billion of local government fund by the state assembly under the past governor of the state. We are in support of the ongoing probe of the 19.63 billion in council funds because the money belongs to the people of the state. And if a hearer is found to have carried away our money, he must bring it back. The money belongs to the people who will ensure that Governor Hope Uzodima does the right thing by guiding him properly as elders of the state. Thank you for listening to this news. Well, um, viewers, probing um, the former governor, governor uh, Yedia is not there is nothing bad in that anyway because uh, of it it truly deserves it it truly deserves it he has of a truth he has uh, offended and so he deserves to uh, to truly um, face the panel you know 19.63 billion cannot just disappear under a tin hair. It doesn't, it doesn't, it, it, it doesn't all go well. It doesn't all go well. So, of a truth, um, Yedua should face, face, um, whatever is, uh, is a punishment for uh for misplacing or mis uh, misusing the money of the states you know 
so it is proper well as for op ozodima i will say that op ozodima is not new to the supreme court he has always been that kind of person that always want to take his case to the supreme court he has always want to um, face his opponents face to face at the supreme court and um, that is what uh, what happened that um, that gave him the victory that he had today but then um recognizing him as uh, as uh, the governor of a uh, of supreme court to me i don't see anything big in it and is any big deal in it you know to me i would say that they are just uh, give him the appraisal and the praise of the fact that he succeeded in fitting the idea through um, seeking of appeal through the appeal that he seek through the supreme court so saying what they said i don't think they are trying to uh mock him or embarrass him so this the the uh, elder elders council should um, hold their cool and um should not take it that uh, that's that's serious if the elders actually said this well i would say that it's a very big shame to them anyway because even hope Uzama knows that emo people did not vote for him yes that is a fact in the last election he was not voted for you can imagine they even have the right to even make quote the date of that election of which they know vividly well that hope Uzodima's vote took him down or back to fourth position he didn't even smell the third or second he didn't even smell it so i am even ashamed of them for even um putting that 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 date of that election so by our assessment he remains a supreme court governor and that is the word so if they are using that word for him as a sign of mockery i would say that he deserves it because if not for the supreme court if not for the appeal he seek through the supreme court he wouldn't have been the governor that he is today yes they are saying it to make him know that he passed through the supreme court to be the governor that he is today so the so-called elders should just hold their peace because i don't think they can do anything to anyone calling him that name that is the name he deserves because it is um, through the supreme court that he gain is is um is 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 win is winning Elders that speak from both sides of their mouth, emo elders should trade with caution, if truly they are. Because to me, this statement of theirs is full of is filled with is full of biasness. There is no atom of truth in it. Most of them didn't vote for him, of which they know. They are just speaking now because they, they he, he is now in power so they are looking for favor well that's their own pro problem that's why progress is far from emo states so where are you elders from the beginning from the beginning now that the northerners has chosen who they want as the governor of emo states through supreme court injustice then you are telling the elders if you know that you are elders stand up now 
against the import, import, importation of amadures in the southeast now before it's too late. So long thing. So my viewers, what is your take on this? Please don't forget to leave them behind. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the button to receive more updates. Thank you.